afternoon of Thursday the 10th, a child walked into the guidance office like anybody else would do. The child appeared to be extremely depressed, anxious, and tired. When asked what was wrong, the child began to cry and explained that they felt guilty and that they doubted their own reality. They had no physical wounds, but they bared emotional scars that couldn't last a lifetime. Gaslighting is a serious issue today, especially among teens and parents and or adults. An example is if person A has said or done something, person B will twist their words around and deny until person A has a distorted reality and thinks that they are losing their sanity. This can be very frightening. Emotional abuse can break a person's soul and shatter their entire world. There are often instances in which people will paint a picture that shows physical abuse being more important than emotional abuse. This is a lie. It is the most lonely thing in the world to be surrounded by friends and family who don't understand what you and Sometimes you can't fix it. When people cut them down as they try to pick themselves back up, it's extremely hard. When you take into consideration what someone's life is like, even if you can't see the scars, it opens up your eyes. Life can build you or break you, but you can't always decide your life. Some of the things that happen every day are continued as emotional abuse. This is too long. PTSD, depression, anxiety, guilt, and the list. There are only a few results caused by emotional abuse. Ways we can help stop emotional abuse are reporting these incidents, not just if they happen to you, but to others. Emotional abuse is hard to trace, so people are doing what they can to stop it with what they have. If everyone else pitches it, the world is slowly defeating emotional abuse every single time someone helps.